everyone, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. So right here are all of the products from last week, so if you want to see that video, it will be linked down below. But I'm going to put away this basket and all of these goodies, and then we will go through and pick out the products that I'm going to use next week to help me rotate through my products and get ready more quickly. So... Here we go. Okay, so I went ahead and completely emptied the basket. Um, because sometimes I usually, well, I emptied the basket completely because I usually will leave a lot of products in there and then I kind of just forget what's in here. So once in a while I like to go through and empty it. So we are starting from scratch. Um, the two things I am gonna put back in there this is the Tarte Berry um, Lips. It's more like a lip gloss. It's very comparable to the um, Revlon Butter Glosses or Butter Lipsticks. I did do a video on my summer lipstick picks. I'll have linked down below if you want to check it out. But I go into more detail about this product and my other lip products. So I am going to go ahead and pull that. Ugh. And then I got about one more use I'm going to use, or one more week of use for the um, 601 L'Oreal Nude Ballet. I did pan this uh, in a project pan. I'll also have that link down below the finale that I posted this week. Both videos were posted this week. But there isn't much in there. I'm basically scraping it, but I really like it. So I'm going to try using it for one more week. Okay, so <laughs> let's start with face products since that's the majority of what's happening for her. Okay, so, okay, we will go with, let's see, primer. I'm using the Hangover RX, and I'm also using the It Cosmetic CC Plus. Whoop. Safe. All right, and then... I don't really like how this one, the e.l.f. Tinted Moisturizer and Nude, I don't like how it looks with the IT Cosmetics. So I am going to pull um, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi and just wear it a couple of times because um, this is almost empty. So I want to go ahead and finish that. For concealer, I'm also going to pull two because this uh, Maybelline Better Skin has about one or two more uses out of it. It's ba I'm basically scraping the sides of this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull um, the Naked Skin by Urban Decay. This one is in light neutral. This would be will continue to be in all of my baskets until I finish it. So you'll probably be seeing it for the next few months, just like you saw the um, Maybelline Butter Skin. So a new friend. And then for highlight, I'm going to continue using the Hefty Highlight from Clinique. This was another one that I didn't quite finish in my project pan, but there's like nothing left in it. So I want to go ahead and finish that. And let me just set all this stuff to the side. Alright, so that is basically what I'm going to pull for like the foundation on my face, which is a lot of products. But um, let's go in over here and see what other products we're going to pull. Okay, so this is the e.l.f. St. Lucia um, cream palette that I am panning currently. And next week I'll have a get ready with me using this. But I've been really enjoying it. The bronzer is really nice to use. The blush is extremely pigmented. So like literally a little dab will do ya. Um... I'm going to continue. I'm just going to pull this this week. This is the NYX HD Banana Powder. Um, you'll see in that Get Ready With Me, but I really like using this with a damp beauty blender to just set um, basically the parameters in the middle of my face uh, so that I can still keep the glow from my BB cream, CC creams, all that, but it's still like not too... I don't know, like, I don't want it to look oily looking. And I want it to stay all day in the heat. That's the biggest thing. Um, so I'll pull that. And I also, this week, I got a 20% off coupon from Ulta. So, of course, I had to take advantage. Um, I got a nail polish from Zola in the color Rue. 
it's actually what's on my nails right now. That I have a picture of it on my Instagram. I don't have it here with me. But I also got the Tarte Park Avenue Princess. As you know, I finished that little sample and I've been wanting this so bad. But I had that 20% off and then I had $9 off from Ulta Money. So it made this and that nail polish, which were originally $39, only $23. So I figured that was the perfect time to pick this up. I absolutely love it. So of course that's going to be the bronzer that I pull for the week. Um, so for a blush, I do have that cream one, obviously, but, um, I'm trying to think if I want something else to put over. I did really enjoy putting the, um, Master Nude, the Master Highlight from Maybelline and Nude. I really enjoyed wearing that over it. Um, but do I want something else? Dee, 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 dee. I know I recently pulled it, but I'm going to go with NARS Orgasm. I think just the little sparkle of, um, it's like gold sparkles in it. This is such a sheer blush that you can build up. I think it will look nice over that cream. So I'm going to pull that. And then I do have the cream highlight, but I do like putting, um, a different one over it. So I'm going to pull, this is Laura Mercier. Um, this is in Highlight 01. I haven't pulled this in so long. It's just a very subtle, natural highlight color. So I will go ahead and grab that. And I think that's probably it for this section. So we will move on to eyes. Okay, let's start with the eye stuff that's kind of hanging out right here. Let me grab it all. Okay, so we have... Um, Essence Lash Princess Mascara, and we have, oops, um, the Grand, Lancome Grandiose Mascara. Um, these, the lifespan's almost over. I think I just probably have a couple more weeks left with them, so I'm obviously going to grab both of these. Then I have this, um, mascara primer. It's also by Lancome. It's the, what is it called? The Sil Sils Booster or whatever. I don't know. But there's that. Okay. And then I have a couple like eyeliner type things. So there is the NYX Wonder Pencil and Light. It's a good like lower lash um, pencil. Then I have the NYX Electra Liner. This is in, what is it? Power Lines. Just a good pop of color. And then I have the Liquid pencil or the drama liquid pencil from Lancome. I really like that. And I have my Essence Brow Make Me Brow. And then I have the Brow Stylist and this one is in. This Brow Stylist is in Burnett. So these are pretty much ones that I have all the time. So I'm going to keep those. Whew. So that was eyes. <laughs> Adding on to that, I have the Avon Amethyst. I'm painting this. This is a stick eyeshadow. So I've been trying to put this underneath my eyeshadows. I will pull that. I'm going to pull the Milk Jumbo Crayon as a base. And I'm also going to start keeping the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Potion Primer. This is the original. I just want to... Oh my gosh, I'm out of control today. I just want to... Um, grab this and alternate using the two because I don't want the Urban Decay one to go bad. Alright, so as far as eyeshadows, I'm going to keep pulling. This is Classic Nudes, Physician's Formula. I am trying to pan these two brown colors, so I have been just mixing them two together and putting them in my crease. So, what do I want to grab in addition to that? Um, I have been grabbing my Lorac Pro, but Pro 3, so I might go ahead and grab that because I really like playing with it, but we'll see. Um, I'm actually going away for the weekend, so I'm going to grab the Naked Flush because that's my favorite one to travel with, and then I'm also going to grab, um, and... 
Okay, I'm going to grab the NYX Love in Paris. You guys know I love traveling with that. I just took it on a trip. And then I'm going to... I was going to grab this NYX Girl Talk, but it that formula breaks really easily. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and grab L'Oreal. This is Infallible in Ice Latte. Um, it's a very similar color to Girl Talk, but this formula doesn't break. It's not as soft as a color so I will go ahead and grab that you know what let's look at the single shadows for a second what do ooh I haven't grabbed this in a while let me grab my melt stack this is in dark matter it's been a while since I grabbed it it has this um, light brown color it's called blur then there is this brown color called unseen then there is this maroon color called uh, Enigma, and then there's the black color in Dark Matter. So I love the formula of this. I just never really pick it up that often for my baskets, but I'm going to do it today. Um, I haven't pulled this one in a while. This is Buxom, um, what was it called? Glitz Factory? Yeah, Glitz Factor. So you know I love this and I haven't pulled it like I said. And I also want to pull, oh my gosh, um, this is Bella Mandarin by Milani. This is like my favorite summer peach color. So I will go ahead and pull that. And I'm going to pull one more because this is another favorite. This is L'Oreal Single 207. Did you guys see they came out with like quads with this formula of eyeshadow? There's four in a thing. And I'm not sure how much they cost. But I really like this formula. I don't need eyeshadows right now. So I'm going to hold off on picking it up. I want to see some reviews that come out first. But... I do really like this formula right here. I do want to pull one palette even though I have a lot already. I'm going to pull... Ugh. This is the Maya Mia by Anastasia. This is one of my like top five favorite palettes. With everyone talking about the new Renaissance Renaissance palette. It makes me want to pull this. I'm going to hold off on picking up the Renaissance, but I do love the formula. This is, like I said, top five palette. I love it. just has everything. Like you have a color to buff things out. You have a color to deepen the look. You have some great crease colors. You have great pops of color. It's just a very perfect, well thought out palette as the Renaissance looks as well. But yeah, I'm going to pull this I just love it so much. And I think that's it. So let me put my basket together and I will be right back. I forgot to say I don't have a declutter drawer anymore. I feel like I went through all the products that I wanted to go through and I just put everything in my drawer. So I'm back to just one drawer of makeup. And so I'm really excited about that. You guys know that like this drawer is like how I keep it all under control. If it doesn't fit in the drawer, then that means I need to declutter and hold off on buying stuff. Um, I know I still have a lot of makeup, but that's kind of what makes me feel comfortable, my parameters on it. But anyways, this is the basket for the week. I think I have a lot of fun things to choose from. I'm so excited to play with all of it. I'm going to go do my makeup in a few minutes with these products. But thanks for watching. Um, like I said, I posted a couple of videos, the lipstick video and the finale of my last project pan. And then next week I have a couple of videos planned for you guys as well. So I appreciate you all watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.